what the future of this roster necessarily holds. But there have been improvements from some of the individuals on phase since the departure of Nico. He left a lot of room for others to fill, and they've done so. But I think this game could just be absolutely fireworks from the get-go. So buckle in, everybody. The first map of phase and made in Brazil beginning here on Nuke. And we've got kills on the outer yard. We've got Brokey trying to prevent them from going for this cross. He gets gushed, as does Olaf. And it looks like the Brazilians are kicking it off with a pistol. But their king in Coldzera goes down. <laughs> the peasants rise up. What we saw in the showdown where they're struggling so hard, they cared so much about the fact that they were losing each round. Yep. Okay, things go already a little bit south. Rain picks one off, crossing into lower. Leo is going to take pole position inside of control room. And Lucas could get caught off guard. Some Deagle spam in. Rain, two kills on this round already. Yeah, I was getting a little too excited there, Lucas. Emptying the MAC-10 cost him his life, and it could cost MIBR this round. Not his death in it of itself, but just the constant racking up of frags here for FaZe Clan. Ooh, and a dink versus KNG. TRK, we know this guy can deliver. And maybe this... right now is the time to do it, because uh, the momentum of this T-side start is in question. Now the Brazilians start to get it back, and it crashes down around FaZe, but there's one man left again. It's Cold Zera. He clears the back of the bomb site. He knows where KNG is at, and he gets them both. Phase gonna go ahead and rob it away. Kills towards the ramp, perhaps. Olaf goes for the peak, doesn't see him, takes to the top of it, and dies out to TRK. Interesting. This B site now very much compromised. Deep smoke on Decon door. Cold swings it open, and Rain, he could go for the double side. Yep. But maybe waiting for the plant attempt, because for now, he still has the element of surprise. And there it is. Catches one of the open, predicts the additional peak. Leo getting the better of him, but 10 seconds left. Cold, he peeks out, sections off the 1v1s. He knows he's being gunned down here, oh, but no Cold way. with another 1v2. He can't be stopped. He does it again. I can't believe that. So to know that they've just been constantly practicing in Europe ever since, I mean, three weeks between these events, you'd think they'd just get stronger, but that frag grenade definitely shakes them at the knees. Lucas, able to get the first headshot. Cold Zera, dude, he's been a problem so far, but he does go down only to be traded out by Rain, and Brokey swings from the top rope, but the 3K from Rain, got a calmness yeah and 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 maybe i i wouldn't say underrated because everybody knows how good he is but like we're talking eventually legendary status counter-strike hall of famer imo cold zera over towards squeaky just being a constant nuisance two kills for him man advantage on for face clan vsm knocking on heaven's door they're getting picked apart in the game plan. Suddenly, this Heaven Wrap, which would have been a great feature of this split, becomes a desperation play because, of course, they're going to be waiting for it. There's enough CTs to watch every single angle. And interesting, uh, an adjustment here from MIBR. They're actually going to turn it back to ramp. Olaf Meister fully aware of the situation with a nice clean angle. 2K spray down, leaving KNG alone. Hitting them with a jab on their way over towards heaven to try to wrap up into the site. Uh-oh. Oh my god. KNG's getting rushed after time. Ooh, that one's gonna cost. Loses the AWP. Phase continue on fire. But a saving grace. Oh. Lucas kills Rain and then hits Kierby for one point of damage. Brokey scoped in on the backside of the fence. That does open up the possibility of a mini hit. And now Cold Zera relegated to behind the vent, hoping that the Heaven player can lend a helping hand. But they're not going to check him. Easy pickup from Cold, dropping the bomb at his feet, calling his teammates into the action. They don't mind losing a bit of health, but oh, good damage being landed. And he's just cowering to the corner. Now he wants to fight. Gets himself another kill. Lucas is dead to rights. It is Cold Zero with the 4K and FaZe in eighth round. And one round, all the MIBR still hang on to. I think they missed the squeaky nade here. Makes things a little bit awkward. Not sure if they want to get out. Oh, no, they got it. Oh, nice. Picks one off of the heavens. 
They're going to follow that one up quickly. Brokey, key frag. Can he get two? He does. Drops down and gets wrecked by Lucas. So, man advantage up for MIBR. Again, they've found footing on the A site. But it's not a question of getting onto A. It's a question of holding onto it. Olaf now all alone. So this should be it. The Brazilians looking to double their round count. Give them one round. He's too nice, man. Falls back, keeps the AK. Obviously, money a little bit low here for FaZe, so definitely going to be worth its weight in gold. MIBR, can they recover? Can they recuperate a half off of the back of this second round? Lucas knows that they're going to be trying to squeeze because they took Haven control, so it's just about him trying to win this fight, but he's really exposed inside of Squeaky. This is awkward, and he'll die as well, so that's a free opening kill. This might be a route up Heaven. Cold, but without HUD control. Okay, TRK will take hold out. Yep. Rain answers back. They're maintaining numbers here. Brokey, though, he's in oh my disguise. God. And, well, TRK disguised as a CT down here on this bomb site. 25 seconds to spare. A couple of fake plants, and he decides to reposition, going for the front side of site. But he loses his teammate in the meantime. So TRK, with as many enemies as letters in his name, needs to come big with the clutch. And the first one falls for free. He knows there's a player in heaven, but Brokey doesn't miss those. And that's FaZe with a 10th round on the board. We'll see what happens. Plenty of time on the clock. And it's just going to be the KNG versus Brokey show. Young Gun gets the pickup. And he's actually got an additional player sectioned off in trophy. Leo going to be too easy to get out of here. Olaf's going to take position of the front line and catches him by surprise. VSM, the only success story for MIBR in this 13th round thus far. But a walkout from Squeaky looking likely from VSM. He gets a second headshot. That ejects him through the vents into the lower site, but already CT's in position, getting all the closer. He jumps with Bomb, and FaZe continue on with yet another round win. Yeah, this is a side that could have delivered earlier on, but FaZe Clan looking to just be more and more stable as things unfold. Cold nearly lining up too. Luckily, TRK will take down his front kill for him. Brokey eats a nade. And Kierby looking to come in from Mini, but a deep position cleared out. KNG just dropped. Flashbangs in abundance for FaZe. They throw one out from Heaven. Kierby's going to be that... Front runner trying to peel a player off of the site, but nobody's facing at all. MIBR doing a good job of just getting back into all the nooks and crannies, and because of it, they will take a third round at least. Well, finally, a successful post plant situation for MIBR. They pull it off with a fast upper split. We see how many of their rounds go towards upper. They lost two 1v2s to Cold Zera and never showed their face downstairs again. A wobbly economy as well, so let's see if uh, they can flex that extra leg. Ooh, a lineup that almost gives Kierby two. Rain, though, always composed in these sorts of positions, but his teammates are getting erased in the meantime. He decides to go for the peak. TRK keeps him honest. Olaf, what can you deliver? Molotov comes flying towards him. He gets a quick headshot a second. Oh, so close! Olaf almost with the spontaneous 1v4. That lost their star, but are still looking very strong. And they're showing that with this 11-4 to score line. It's a quick explode into the ramp early on in this pistol. Coldzera calling what looks to be a really good strat. They actually are holding back in lobby to get the refrags as well. Brokey will pick up everything. Advantage for the tease. Yeah, coming Damn, really nice split. Oh my hit. god, what a beautiful split by FaZe Clan. VSM. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait. He was on a 3-4 resolution. Yeah. Couldn't see that guy below him. Especially round like this, where there's not much investment, can work off even more beautifully. The double setup on the decon stairs, control stairs, and Leo's got some opportunities, but Kirby is happy to aim Matt back. Yep, hits his headshot eventually. That one was a little bit labored, and VSM did take one with him, so you can see by the damage here that there was a chance, and Brokey also gonna basically seal the deal. But Lucas wants a fight. But he's not supposed to even have a chance here. No crossfire actually being played for the moment. They're just anticipating him walking into the windowsill like this. We got a player at the base of the stairs. It's the cold-blooded rain to get that 10-round lead for phase. Leverage your position a little bit better. Get some confidence back and try to win a round. Brokey, Maul, nice. absolutely destroyed trying to come down the vents. Leo will also get a molly kill with the help of TRK spam. And that is the bomb drop behind enemy lines. Coldzera 
Ooh, well, spotted. He'll, he'll receive it, but I think now he's trying to get down the vent, and he will. A little bit of a wiggle room to play Ooh. off of, but Rain, he just came in from mini, takes the player off of Hut. TRK now kind of peeled in two directions, not sure if the vent player comes back up. Listen. This is, I mean, it is a 4v3, but because they have the two ops, right? One kill can make it, well, okay, well, it's the ops to actually do it. And look, he's going to come back up vent into the uh, A site. Okay. yeah. Using the utility down on B to draw A and draw rotates. It's worked. They were a little handful down there. Now, Kierby looking for an additional kill on the A site. Doesn't need the kill if he smokes the player off, and I love it. It looked like Cold was going to wrap around Hut. Now Cold could technically go back down to B, but they're stranded on the A site instead. And a man comes in from heaven, stops the plant, and nades in from Lucas to secure the round. Oh. Whoa. Dude, I love it. Rain just inching closer to the fire. Two quick kills come in from MIBR. Leo feeling the heat here gets dinged through the edge of the doorway. It's a two-man advantage. This would be a easy vent dive. I don't know how aware they are that there could be a threat down there, but Ooh, he'll pick it. He doesn't grab it, actually. And he still knows there's one more backside, I'm pretty sure, but the Big flank point. is already here, yeah. Crucial. Lucas hits it on its head, and Olaf can't trade it right away, but does give chase. I mean, this is now two of the players left incredibly low, and Leo on half health. He peeks out, and Olaf, he oh. almost closed the first half with an impeccable clutch, but can he do as much here yeah. and now? 35 seconds. He knows one player had to run away, and he's got this other man stranded. He should be calling for help. Olaf adjusts the aim, but Leo, consistent in his aggression. Yeah, that's very true. It's not every day you see Kirby on the AWP, but no better time for him to use it. However, 15 seconds left, and they've got to make a move. There is an important trade here in TRK. They're trying to punish the ladder. Time ticks down past the 10 second mark. Trades come out for the T side. They'll be able to stick the plant if they get the kill in heaven. And oh my god, VSM with that micro adjustment spray transfer from the AUG from the heavens into the floor. Versus just the pistols. Rain will lead the charge. Forward facing into the Alpha KNG. Great tracking here for the second shot. Oh man, it is heating up, Mo. Now anchor. we're talking. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Need to get the opera flashed off if they're trying to cro cross outside or, uh, you know, have better protocols to avoid that. I think we just saw yep. someone dropping into secret and Rain tries to pull his knife out to get down onto Mini, but Coldzera again opt outside and this is a second frag here for KNG <laughs> right into the hands for 100 HP. It's a four on three situation. Kirby answers back, but KNG, he's not done. He's looking for the repeak and it's actually Lucas to pick up the last three kills. MIBR are now at 11 rounds to the 14 of phase. <laughs> VSM hears this. Low on guns. It's not kills, but rather map control that FaZe Clan have found at the start of this one. KNG with an op kill to start as it has been. He is not missing shots. And even oh, up monster close, mode. he nails it. Cold Zera's dead, but here comes that ramp flank. It's Olaf 1v4, and the Deagle's doing damage. He's honing in on the follow-up frag, but now they're all clumped up on the other side. And that's where it ends. They haven't had to deal with these types of moves. BSM able to manage two kills off the AUG. He's dropped the bomb, nearly able to get a third, but then three frags back the way of phase. This puts Leo and TRK in the hot seat. They're immediately coming back to clean out the lobby. There is no information for MIBR. Interestingly, they're actually flanking the lobby. Whoa. This is cr Look at Cold Zera holding back on this. No way the CTs are going to spot him, right? He'll get the first kill. Second one should be a lock. Headshot in. But with the ramp setup, I don't think there's any hope for our man, TRK. Opens the door, gives himself away, goes for the peak, goes for the spray, and Brokey locks it down. FaZe will find their 15th. That's KNG by his side. Make the confident rotate and oh. KNG capitalizes. VSM still here for the fallback. He has the promise, but they do not clear him and he turns it into two. Now, double man advantage, but Olaf quick trade. He's going to run out into the ramp room. Cold trying to catch a kill here towards outdoors, and he very well could. Lucas is tucked into the side of secret. Is Cold going to get caught the same way he did Lucas? Absolutely. Olaf, but the door is closed. 
And that changes everything. Because now he's met by a Molotov as he tries to get back into the spot. But he claws Lucas off of the clutch. Now two more players to go. And he gets killed from TRK. MIBR pushing it to a 30th round. He's busting out the windows. Oh, Lucas inside. starting to get a little curious here. Molotov right onto the feet of TRK. Tons of damage versus FaZe. They are barely standing. KNG, Leo, and Lucas taking it down to just Brokey. It's with a flurry of frags that MIBR force the issue. Overtime secured. And you can see what that means because they do not want to let Nuke slip through the fingertips. They know what they can win here. Not anybody here. No, it's They're just Darkon door. Down, yeah. Leo's gonna swing the door. And Olaf instantly takes his head off. Dude, this B play comes out of nowhere. And I mean, MIVR, we knew they weren't prepared for it. They send one player down to try and get into position, but now it's gonna be a desperate retake because they can't forfeit a second round in overtime. Olaf, inside of control, dies. And that could be what they need. The Jackknife into this bomb site. Everybody else is dying around them, but Brokey at least delivers one. Kierby's done. And MIBR, with no hooks in that B site, just busts through the wall. That much is free for the taking. The T's place the bomb within it, and by moving that CT oh, off of the oh. ramp, they open this up massively. KNG just with the Deagle. Oh, he finds the best of the timing. Drops the bomb, swaps to the op, goes in for another Yo. B. Are you kidding? And now that that bomb's been thrown back down, it's on rain to try and recover. Brokey's elsewhere also collecting kills, but is Brokey alone? 15 seconds to go, and desperation sinks in. He has nothing to lose. He extinguishes fire, but he can't put out the flames of MIBR. Who's in position? It's Olaf. Brokey's looking to lend a helping hand off, missing that shot, and KNG catching rain. It's a man advantage for MIBR, but 35 seconds remain. He was just able to catch another here inside of Mini, but it's two kills back, three kills back from FaZe. A shutdown on the CT side. FaZe continue to deliver. Lucas, the next casualty. And all that's left is TRK again. But he has been falling in these moments. And once more, he is the final kill for FaZe. Quick execute, maybe? Yeah, they're gonna try and commit through the smoke. Only one. Considering the success Reigns had in that position, it's not half bad. VSM a second kill. And lower. Bomb is lower. Oh, Olaf. Sent downstairs to try and plug this hole, but Brokey, he's making a lot of noise. They're and waiting, because though. of that, they are right behind him. He knows it. Yeah, they. everyone kind of knows what's Ooh. going on. Right in the head. He took damage. Dropped to 42. Basically similar to VSM. Cold Zero, this is a cold-blooded position. But he gets called out. VSM is doing everything. And TRK finally able to find a bit of success on a late lurk. It is Olaf in the counter clutch. MIBR seem to succeed when they have no room for error. And KNG slowly falling into the exact booby trap that they want him to. Look at that. All too easy. A five versus three coming off of the back of it. FaZe Clan in the first overtime had two CT rounds before letting the third one slip. But now still a chance in this. They want that 20th as quick as they can, but Cold from behind vent delivers a kill, has teammates all around him. Lucas is able to answer with only one, and FaZe still gunning. Triple overtime. 22 for the win. They're going fast and taking hella damage oh. through the smoke, but it's actually the kill back Nate. from the SG and Rain. Oh my god, look at the health bars at the moment. Four on four situation, all one shot kills. And they're starting to get melted down. Olaf, bro, they're running into the old back. Just the utility usage. But Brokey's actually going to drop a shot. That gives them a chance here. He has one health left. And his teammate's getting damaged. Brokey taking one with him. It's back into the 2v2. A molly on the double door. But it's still not going to feel comfortable. Oh, there is such a small gap in the timing. It looks like VSM gave up some information. Oh. But it doesn't matter. He takes Rain out. And Cold, he did doubt himself. He walked it back all the way up the ladder to upstairs. The bomb can now get planted in safety. But they haven't put it down yet. But Lucas, so exposed. He swings. Oh, and VSM with the whip back slaps him to the dirt.
VSM, bro. This guy is a boulder. Yeah. He's been so dope at ramp, honestly. Yeah, it's finding all the right angles. Kirby cannot win. And the first T round from FaZe looks like it fizzled out. Yeah, slowly melted down. They knew what they wanted out of the gate, that squeaky hit. But it was absolutely crunched down on. Yeah. VSM, <laughs> they're just mushier than a bowl of oatmeal in the scope of VSM and Rain. Well, he'll throw the Hail Mary clean one tap to finally find that trade for dignity. But the round is still looking like it's out of question. 46 seconds left. He'll try to get downstairs. The CT will swing out wide, and Lucas can take his time with it. Let's and he'll see. have to hit a flick to pull this off. There's they're so assuming many he utilities. fell back almost. He comes back in. MIBR now with a man advantage, looking to take a lead in double OT. KNG knows there's a man up high. That's a desperate sprint back into cover. But just as he gets into a sanctuary, he decides to rip one off of it. Now 2v4, Kier beaten Brokey, the youngest players of phase, one of which now fallen. He is playing it as cool as he can, and they call out his position with the nade. That's fantastic. Four players from phase in position. Fifth one's coming in. Lucas, he's going to slam that door shut, but Rain reopens it. Molly's taking to the bomb site. TRK from the rafters. He's given us two kills already, and he dives down, looking for a third. How about a fourth? No need. KNG in from above, and MIBR will clutch this. 14 4. I say 14 4. And they run it back, sweeping the floor with phase and pushing this series into dust two where we all know you talk about how he can be that second player in how he tethers off of them but remember who you're talking about in his surroundings Brokey is something special and he's dead kng starts this one off quick kill from long a and now they could just continue to walk this way they've got double smokes double flashbangs and they will throw up the smokes. Rain, he's gonna go right through this. The flashbang's perfect from Olaf, but he can't manage more than one. A little bit off the mark. We saw some missed smoke grenades on Nuke as well from MIBR. Ooh. Oh, off the door oh, armor. Hey. Almost kills him. Right when the nade lands, KNG again, he's carrying on so far, looking really, really strong. Oh, great shot by Leo. And that leaves Cold Zera alone. Only Brazilians left alive. He'll have to take down three to win and watch his flashbang <laughs> pop in his face. Yeah, he shoots the damn thing. The tracking on that flashbang, though, that was yeah. pretty nice by Colzera. Let's see if he can actually get the kills to complement it. No, no so he comes in. KNG, one hell of a round. Flash through the doorway. Knows he hit someone because that desperate USP shot just chirps off. And Leo, well, he actually gets bested by a pistol arrow. Traded by Lucas as he looks to continue on to the A site. They found the totem pole, dealt with the first piece of it, and Brokey's not long for this world, but he will go down with a fight. The CTs will know this coming back to mid. That mid is in jeopardy potentially. VSM is really taking some liberties here. That's an instant headshot on Kirby on the rotate. And now KNG spotting, holding this position so smart by KNG to lock this in. This actually opens Cat back up after an opening kill for FaZe. And Olaf, well, he's wrapped long all the way back behind MIBR, but seeing as how far forward they are, now the high alert comes in. They keep eyes on it. Olaf spotted. And VSM, he comes out middle where they tell him to go. Like, we got long control from the CTs, but then he goes that one step further to make sure that it's actually an impactful play. Olaf, the 0-5 of Kierby. And the quick pace that MIBR consistently lets sink in. They wait for no yeah, man. Right, he hits that long range spray transfer to Olaf. The fallback plan, the contingency plan for the CT side. They rush long so quickly. Nobody does that anymore. Committing all the way out that far. Two rounds ago, they save with three. Last round, they save with three. And now here in the six, they are faced with a similar situation, except Rain has no plan for evacuation. There is nowhere to run. So they have to hang on a little longer. And by an extension of this, well, 
we could watch MIBR completely redirect, but with so many players in position, they're going to try to pound headstrong into the A site. This is all that FaZe have left to their name, and that's not saying much. They're going to drop some utility, and he just tries to run. Cold Zero with a single kill, Dude. and MIBR show no sign of stopping. What exactly is this, VSM? Jock for position with no response from FaZe. They're going to get smoked out. The first one's bad. That could be a weird situation. But yep. now there's only one player back in the no B side. Oh my way. god, Kirby. He spams and gets answered back. And that leaves K this man at K-Sharp all alone. Cold Zara with an AWP. Can he hold? He's just going to hide behind Box. Just shots kind of singing by his head, yet still not dead. They know he's back here. They're trying to hone in on him. Cold, oh, stops one in the sky. That's bomb of all things. And Cold's going to deliver a second kill here. It's going to bring the man advantage back for FaZe as they hit it from behind. VSM, with that kill through smoke on CT spawn, he got this round re-rolling. And now he's going to get aggressed upon, but they give him a chance to clutch. Oh, he gets no the way. all lined up, and now it's just half health for, for Olaf. He's run out from tunnel and it gets shut down. He's done MIBR it. aren't stopping. He can't be stopped. VSM. <sighs> Olaf is one Molotov away from being screwed in this position, though he can drop a smoke, potentially getting a kill here. Holding his ground. The third five versus four in a gun round finally turned into a 5v3 as well. Olaf has a teammate help him out. An additional spoke still on his belt. And two enemies lie ahead. But KNG comes hunting, and his missed shot could finally put FaZe Clan on the board. Olaf stuck between two targets. Brokey able to trade him. These AWPs all across the map are paying off at least for one. But MIBR, they haven't had to do anything different. So finally, FaZe. Man, they are so so committed to this opening and oh, it almost pays off yet again. Rain's able to get himself into the pit. Olaf tries to land the hit through the side of the smoke and that costs him. Four smoke grenades exchanged here. It's like a maze of temporary oh, cover. Flash that causes the turn. Brokey in such a pressured position. They'll get away with it. This is a 10th round for MIBR's T side. I would not, oh, I would not uncrouch there. Another cohort at the top of mid, side by side, MIBR looking oh, oh, for the mid broken. control. Clean one. Yeah, and Kierby even adding a kill to the tally. The young guns of FaZe, they group back up inside of the doorway. Hey, hey 3v2 on the B site. Absolutely. Gonna try to run this one in. They have one molly for the execute. Kierby's gonna play the close door. Oh, perfect oh, peek. Two headshots made easy for Kierby. KNG comes in with a trade. How about a 1v5, folks? If there's anybody who could do it. Okay, never mind. Not today. Asking for a lot. Leaves two of the Brazilians stranded behind blue. Rain, yeah. Easy pickup on the first kill. But he does get traded by TRK. And Olaf, in the meantime, just hanging on to pit, doing what he has to, staying alive, more importantly than anything else. A jump spot tells him that they still want him. And so he seeds back as far as he possibly can. Brokey just stay glued to this corner. Oh, but KNG, what? Flies down into the pit. Kierby's going to clear the player off of elbow. 25 seconds, and the kills start to rack up here for FaZe. KNG in yet another clutch. He gets legged, and that should spell the end to this 14th round. It does. Cold Zera gets the edge, and FaZe slowly Gonna try to get out of dodge. Oh, he's oh tucked behind. Oh, oh my god, no and he way. gets the kill. No way. KNG trying to give chase. Brokey back in with an off shot combat. Swing in the sniper. Molotov to meet the face of the player on catwalk. Olaf, I would not stick around here. Olaf no longer in pit. He wants nothing to do with it after KNG just broke him. Oh, but he gets called out. Still able to get one kill and Brokey, he lands those. Seven health remaining on FaZe's offer. And Leo, the showstopper for this first half. He goes down to Cold Zera. FaZe, a hell of a recovery. Lucas, cheeky position. And KNG, they've gone past him. Oh no! A bad clear. A blunder. Lucas able to get himself no. a double as well. This is. You must trade. Oh, 
much, you babe. You just must trade. <laughs> Hand over a 12th round to MIBR after they have so mo much momentum. They're kind of just scooping it back. I do not expect to see MIBR cool off or respect their opponents at all. Good. Dust 2 opens up the CT rounds, aggression. To yeah, yeah, good point. Ooh, a little double from TRK and Lucas with a triple. A MIBR 12-5 as fast as they can. The comeback to form these days with how many recoveries we've seen in terms of form. This grenade. KNG wanting to swing wide here. Flashbang helps him. He will get there, but at a cost. Incredibly low HP. And more importantly, he had evacuated the B site, leaving uh -oh. it open for the taking, which means now FaZe are facing a sixth round very likely. A huge thing that Astralis did a lot that most teams started copying was just saving all the time. All the time. All the time. Did I just re-aggress or just jump back out to mid to B? Ooh, flash VSM dodges it, and he takes a second kill with him. That's sick. Rain? Oh no, take it through the smoke of all things. And the spam actually helps the AWP get out as well. Leo with the pre-fire as Olaf tries to cross, leaving Cold Zera all alone. But that's an easy first one. Oh, actually, it costs him half his health. Highly unlikely he can clutch this. A one versus four. They actually... Fake plant? Oh, they don't run out. Yeah, nice. Now, Molotov burning time off of the clock. Oh, they're going to jump in on this. Yeah, 10 seconds. He's just going to look for this, and Lucas takes it away. MIBR finding themselves a third round on the CT side. Coldzera has grabbed all of their attention here, yep. right? Like, this all is of it. actually a sick call. MP9 good for just the one. Leo, no way. A second? How has he managed oh, that? I mean, you'd think with the 4v1 it was over, but Brokey, that's the difference maker. Able to keep this one even despite the best efforts of Leo and his measly SMG. Lucas picking up utilities, and the terrorists throw them back through the doorway. Cold Zera, perfect flank, but he actually misses some shots. Will recover it in the end. Now they've got these CTs pinned into position, and FaZe Clan have managed another round here. A ninth on the board. They're going to threaten here. They've thrown light grenades out towards long. They're feeding into this. MIBR trying the same thing, but guess what is coming again? B split. Oh, man. And Kierby, he's not missing. Oh, unbelievable. Two kills, one of which through CT spawn synchronized with Brokey. Kierby hits another kill, and it is just headshots across the kill feed. Smoke. Kierby starting to feel himself. We're talking two rounds, the difference. Yeah, it is the exact same thing. It was like, why didn't Faith Time respond to Long A adequately for the first 10 Ooh. rounds? Okay. Oh, oh my god, god. Wait, what? 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 Leo just There's goes sprinting one through the doorway. Here be oh, now of, the, of all Shut the up. rounds. Are you serious? Of all the rounds. A full pistol. That is a wrench in the works. They run through the smoke. They get the kill in tunnels. They hunt down. No. No. Your offer. Oh. <laughs> Who's not covering that? Are you kidding me? He runs in I almost want to see the stadium. replay with the radar so that I can see where everyone was positioned. That's just insane. I don't even know. This is all on KNG. Powerful position. This is doesn't have to worry about Pit because he's got a player out there. Let's see what he delivers. Or maybe it's Lucas to take over the show. He gets the one. Rain trades. KNG scoped in. He takes it. Now TRK at bat and KNG's just delivered. He's got himself the double. It's Kierby in the 1v4 or MIBR after lulling them into a false sense of security. Taking it back with the pistol. Kierby on for the clutch. The jumping shot from VSM and made in Brazil with 15 here. They have sat here as the B site crumbled, knowing, hoping that eventually it would come their way. And now two rounds in a row, FaZe are going to try their hand. There's nobody over in that pit, though. TRK needs to hold it here. And Lucas already delivers with one, but it's Cold Zera off of the long play to get himself a double. Can't no. get the triple because Lucas goes huge. And now he's looking for one more kill up close. Brokey with the Tech 9, keeping things alive. 15 seconds left. Plants the bomb. Op is up. Oh, and he misses. There you have it, folks. MIBR, they have done it. A 2-0 fashion. A hell of a comeback on Nuke. 14-4. And they run it all the way back. 
take us on to Dust 2 and leave FaZe fab flabbergasted. So many rounds in a row. Absolutely insane showing. They exceeded all expectations weeks ago.